Murray State is utilizing new eco-friendly technology on its campus. Bioenergy has become a popular source of renewable energy. And now, Murray State is proud to join the efforts with its new BioBurner. The Hudson School of Agriculture hosted Bioenergy Day, which educates people on the benefits of biofuel and other sustainable energy sources. The dean of the Hudson School, Tony Brandon, was proud to unveil the new BioBurner. Well, we have the second annual Bioenergy Day uh, event held here at Murray State with the Kentucky Cabinet of Energy and Environment. Uh, we're hosting here at Murray State University. We're implementing later this afternoon our bio burner, which is a new usage for biomass crops that we've been growing for the last couple of years. We'll be lighting it, having the first official lighting of it. The new machine is located at the university's equine center and can use a variety of different biofuels to heat the building. Uh, in working with LEI Industries in Madisonville, Kentucky and a grant from the Kentucky Department of Energy Development and Independence, we were able to implement this system. We can take any biomass crop, we can take any waste product or our equine waste and we can cycle through that and we can burn that and we're going to add heat to our 200 by 100 riding arena. And presently this arena does not have any heat. Our equestrian uh, team and our equestrian students ride all winter. With a, in a very chilly environment. We hope to at least take this to knock the chill off the air with the radiant heaters that are in the arena and demonstrate this technology because it can be transferable to agricultural shops, it can be transferable to the poultry industry, uh, turkey houses, uh, residential applications. It can be used in almost any heating application. Along with unveiling the bio burner, there was also the much anticipated hemp harvest. And though hemp isn't usually associated with biofuels, Brandon says hemp can in fact be used as a bioenergy crop. Hemp can be used in bioenergy. It can be used to make ethanol. It's probably not its, its, its greatest use, but we wanted to combine it with it because it, it can be a bioenergy crop. It's something new. It's something that would attract people to come to our day to show a new and, and varied use. We have biomass crops such as energy sorghum, miscanthus, switchgrass, uh, and uh, we've previously worked with energy beets. We've worked with a lot of new crops and we just wanted to demonstrate this new crop as part of today. This is a great use of our university farm and we're proud to, to host this Bioenergy Day in, in association with the Kentucky Cabinet for Energy and Environment.